Hey guys, this is Mike, and you're watching the Wooly Bug YouTube channel. It is Sunday, April 14th, 2019, and I'm excited to have you guys along in this fishing adventure today because I'm fishing a new county in Pennsylvania that I've never been to before. This is Wyoming County, and it's kind of nestled up in the northeastern part of the state. You'd miss it if you blinked. It is east of Sullivan County, west of Lackawanna, and north of Luzerne. And there's not a ton of brook trout streams here, but the ones that are here look very promising, and I'm really excited to fish this one. This is about a two and a half, three mile water that is a trib to a trib of the Susquehanna River. And I have a short window to fish today. They're calling for a pretty big wet weather system to come through here starting around noon. It's 7.30 now. The day looks perfect otherwise. It's overcast. There's not a lot of glare on the water. It's about 65, 66 degrees, and the water temps are coming in around 48, so it's nice and cool. And I'm probably gonna start out subsurface today. I have fished the past couple weekends, although I haven't filmed, and I've noticed that the brook trout, some are coming up on the dries, but not a lot yet. So I'm gonna start out subsurface, watch the activity towards the indicator. Sometimes that can lead you to to put a dry fly on if they're coming up on the indicator a lot. So we'll turn some rocks over and see if uh, there's any bug activity here as well. But really looking forward to this one, guys. Let's go explore Wyoming County and I'll show you what I'm using and we'll start fishing. Okay guys, so I have the Hatch 3 Plus out here today on the 8 foot 4 weight G Loomis as usual. And we're going to start with this subsurface nymph pattern I tied last night. I call that the Daddy Longlegger. If anybody already has a nymph with that name, I apologize. I'm not trying to copy it. It's just the first thing that came to mind. And it's basically the stepbrother of the pink Ferrari, but with these long purple and pink flake legs tied into it. It's got a pink tungsten bead tied directly to a 7.5 foot 5X leader. I am going to use a small lightning strike indicator today. I want something bright on the surface and see if these brook trout will come up for it. If so, I may end up using a dry fly today and I'll show you those patterns. But we're going to start right up here and see if we can find our first Wyoming County brook trout.
Okay guys, so I just fished that daddy long legger nymph in the first three or four pulls with limited success. I had one hook up and lost the fish and then in the last pull I had a fish come up and swipe at the indicator. So I'm going to put on a dry fly and I wanted to show you some of the patterns that I think are successful for brook trout. In my hand, starting in the upper left and going clockwise, that is a royal coachman pattern. Then you have a royal wolf pattern. Then you have an Adams pattern in the bottom right. And then in the bottom left, that is what's called a Wright's royal. And Nathan Justice from Brookie Bum WV sent me those. He sent me about a half dozen of them. So I'm gonna rotate between these. We'll see what's successful. I'm gonna start with a size 14 royal wolf and let's see what we can do. My first Wyoming County brook trout here. I don't know if these fish are too small for the royal wolf pattern I'm throwing, but I've had several spectacular misses, but happy to catch this guy finally. That was a beautiful take. That fish came out from underneath that little root system and hammered that wolf pattern. That was probably the best take I had today. Just uh, really pretty. He's laying right over there.
These guys are hiding today. They're tough to find. Got to dig them out. Guys, that was a beautiful take, like right in front of me. He came up like two or three times, so he must have been pretty hungry. Okay guys, I put my four hours in this morning here in Wyoming County. This tributary was a great introduction to the area and I'm definitely going to be back to fish some of the other creeks that are close to this one. The brook trout were plentiful in here, but the size wasn't as large as I maybe would have hoped. Uh, they may be in here. There were a lot of very deep holes down low, uh, but I didn't catch a lot of fish out of those. Uh, doesn't mean they're not there, I just didn't, but that area is also close to the road. Uh, but as I got upstream, uh, caught quite a few brook trout, and most of them were on the dry fly, uh, the Royal Wolf. So it made for a fun afternoon. The sun was out a little bit this morning, and now it's clouded up. And I think that weather system's probably, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes from starting to dump rain here in northeastern PA. So probably going to be a wet hike back to my truck but I just had a blast being out so I really appreciate you guys watching the channel um, please check out my next video which will include some footage from the project healing waters chapter in Harrisburg that I spent some time with yesterday at their two fly event uh, I met some really great veterans out there and that is just a great organization uh, I'm also going to have some information about a chapter that they're trying to get started in Lebanon County, Pennsylvania. So check that out next video. And again, I appreciate all my subscribers. Get out and enjoy the spring fishing. And as always, I'll see you next weekend.